Okay, let's talk about pre-algebra. And when you study pre-algebra, you're going to have to understand absolute value. And absolute value is not that difficult. As a matter of fact, uh, absolute value or is an example of absolute value problems are things like this. This is the absolute value of negative 2, and this is the negative or the opposite of the absolute value of a positive 3. So most students can do these problems. This is not that difficult, but what we really want you to to uh, understand is the definition of, of the absolute value. So what I've found is that students can typically do these type of simple absolute value problems, but they're a little bit shaky on the definition of absolute value. So we, uh, what we want to do in this video is to really make sure you understand what absolute value is, and you can do these type of basic problems that you're going to see in pre-algebra. So I'm going to get to all of this in just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But I've been teaching math for decades, and I really come to the belief that all students can be successful in mathematics, but it requires two things. It requires, one, that the student is willing to uh, do the work, you know, study, uh, do the homework, take notes, etc. But beyond that, what a student needs is clear and understandable math instruction, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, and you need assistance in mathematics, I can definitely help you out. All right, uh, if you happen to be preparing for some sort of test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, maybe a teacher certification exam, I can help you prepare and pass those exams. And if you homeschool, I have fantastic middle school and high school homeschool courses you can check out. And if you need some math notes, I'm also going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get into absolute value and let's first answer the question, what is absolute value? All right, so here is a problem. This is the absolute value of negative three. Now, first of all, uh, absolute value is what we call a function in mathematics. It's absolute value function, but uh, most people know it with these little bars. Okay, they're like straight little bars like this, and they're straight. Okay, they're, they're not like this. Okay, uh, they're not like this, and they're not parentheses. Okay, these things right here, these are. Uh, in mathematics, we call these grouping symbols. So absolute value in a very specific way are these little straight lines like this, vertical lines just like this. And uh, just for notation purpose, you want to make them the same length. You don't want to be like that or anything else. Okay, so this is the absolute value function, the notation. And we have numbers that go inside of it. That means that we want to find the absolute value of a number. So here, uh, this is indicating find the absolute value of negative three. Okay, so that's what the notation looks like. That's how you recognize you're dealing with absolute value. But I still haven't answered the question, what is absolute value? Well, absolute value is, and this is very, very simple, the distance a number is from zero on a number line. So let me go ahead and show you what that means. So here on the number line, we have one, two, three, and then this, con this continues to go larger, right? And you have all these numbers, these decimals and fractions in between here, and this is zero. Now we're talking about the real numbers, so we have negative numbers as well. So this is negative uh, one, negative two, and negative three. Okay, so uh, what is absolute value? Well, absolute value is the distance, okay? The distance, let's write this out, a number, a number is from zero, okay? So how can I think about it? Well, here's zero, right? Let me actually use a different color. So here's zero and here's negative three. So absolute value is really asking, it's like asking a question, hey, how far is negative three from zero on a number line? So you might be thinking to yourself, well, how can I measure the distance? Well, if we had like a little tape measure, we could be like this, right? We'd be like, okay, we can measure it that way. But if we think about it, now the distance is zero out to negative three, okay? Now, before I answer uh, this question, okay, how far is three, positive three, from uh, zero on a number line? Well, it would be what? It would just be three units away, okay? So the main thing you need to understand is that we measure distance in positive uh, value. We don't say negative feet, right, or uh, negative 
eight inches or uh, negative 16 miles. That's, you know, yes, sometimes that negative meaning indicates direction, but you need to know at this level that distance is measured um, in positive units. So three is three positive units away from zero. But if you look here, okay, the distance that three is from zero is the same distance negative three is from zero. So how far is negative three from zero? Well, it's also three units away, okay? So the absolute value of negative three is how far is negative three uh, from zero? Well, it is three units away or positive three, okay? So that's why the answer to absolute value, um, when you're taking an absolute value of all numbers, it's always positive. Now, sometimes students think of the definition of absolute value as, well, you know, it's always going to be the positive version of that number. Well, that's kind of like the outcome of what happens when you're doing absolute value. You're evaluating absolute value functions, but you really have to understand what the definition is, okay? So this is really, really important, and this, for sure, is almost a guaranteed test or quiz question, all right? So that is what absolute value is, and if you remember that, then you can go ahead and um, always get these little problems uh, correct. So let's take a look at a couple little actual practice problems here, and then we'll call it a wrap for this video. So if you want to kind of um, pause the video and do these um, problems here real quick, they're not that difficult. Um, you know, I'm going to go through these here real fast, but let's take a look at our first one, absolute value negative 7. How far is negative 7 from uh, 0 on a number line? It's going to be 7 units away. So absolute value negative 7, 7. All right, how about this one? The negative or the opposite of the absolute value negative 3. So the way we have to answer this is first, let's find out what the absolute value negative 3 is. The absolute value negative 3 is, of course, positive 3. So this is the opposite of a positive 3, which, of course, is negative 3. Okay, so that's how you do these type of problems. Let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, next problem. Give myself some room. All right, so the absolute value negative 2 is, of course, what? That's going to be positive 2 plus the absolute value of a positive 6 is 6. So that's going to be uh, 2 plus 6, which, of course, is 8. So you can see this is not difficult at all. Okay, let's move on to this next problem. Absolute value of a positive 5, which is what? Well, that's 5. But again, what's this mean? It means how far is 5 away from 0 on the number line? Okay, how about this problem here, the absolute value of a negative a? Hmm, interesting, right? Well, uh, this uh, uh, problem right here, we could go ahead and just call this a positive a. Okay, so that would be the answer to that. So, uh, uh, let's move on. So basically, absolute value, when you're dealing with variables, you, you know, you could it basically works the same way, okay? It gets a little bit more complicated down the line, but if you understand this, then that's excellent. All right, so we can also have an expression like this, the absolute value of 10 minus 6, which is what? Well, let's go ahead and first figure out what 10 minus 6 is. Of course, that is going to be 4. So this is the absolute value of 4, which, of course, is going to be just a positive 4. Okay, so absolute value absolutely, <laughs> notice the pun there, is going to be something you're going to see in pre-algebra and beyond, okay? So again, it, you know, you need to understand absolute value uh, beyond just, you know, being able to actually get the right uh, number for the problem. You have to understand the definition, okay? And hopefully this little, uh, little video helped you out. And if that is the case, consider helping me out by smashing that like button and maybe even subscribing to my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand plus math videos from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of all the videos I make them. I make them for you, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.